Good evening. Well, actually, it's really early in the morning. It's nine o'clock, which is pretty unheard of for me. I'm not gonna lie, I did struggle to get out of bed. It is like the 14th of April, I think. So that is two days after everything opened. I did go out on the 12th, still kind of recovering. I went out so early because I wanted to get a table because I was like, it's gonna be so hard to get a table anywhere. And then I ended up drinking for about 10 hours on an empty stomach. Well, I did have some spring rolls, but that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do anything, is it? And I paid the consequences yesterday. I know I'm recovered, and today is really exciting because I just feel like at the minute I'm kind of giving off like art teacher vibes like i love arts and crafts this is what this is giving me i want to give off bad bitch energy i want to be a bad bitch okay hot girl summer is coming up and i need to channel something a little bit more bad than this <laughs> So today we are doing a hot girl summer glow up. First thing up is lip filler. Now, I don't know, you might be thinking like my mum, because my mum was like, you absolutely do not need any lip filler. And to be honest, I was like, yeah, I kind of agree, but fuck it, I'm bored. I'm just gonna go and get like literally like 0.2 mil. I really don't want anything big, but like to be fair, I do overline my lips a lot, so it would be nice to not have to overline my lips so much. So I'm going to this place called M1 Beauty, M1 Med, I think. And then after we get our lips done, I'm gonna go get a piercing. No, this is really exciting. The backstory behind this is basically I used to have my belly button pierced and then I went for an MRI because you know me, I literally convinced myself that I'm so ill every single day and I had to take out any piercings because like it would literally like I'd fly to the top of the the machine because it's like a magnet I think. I don't really know. And I just could not get get it back in. So then I just let it close over. But belly button piercings do not close over properly. Like you might you need to know this before you get a belly button piercing. Like you will be left with this little ugly bump on top of your belly button for the rest of your life. Apparently you can get it like snipped off and sewed up by a dermatologist. So if you're prepared for that then get a belly button piercing but if not then don't. For me I was either like okay I'm gonna get this snipped off that sounds fucking horrible or get it repierced. And I was like you know what I actually love belly button piercings. I'm not a huge fan of the ones that are like a a little jewel here and then a little jewel here but i used to get this ring when i got my belly button pierced and it was beautiful like in a bikini like it's just amazing i'm gonna go today hope they do the ring otherwise i don't want it and then maybe we'll do a bit of shopping because fuck it it's summer i can't believe shops and all are open oh my god how exciting i actually got this jumper on the 12th when everything opened i went to brick lane vintage market it's a really good vintage place in london and find this 30 quid. I thought that was kind of a bargain because it's a Ralph Lauren. Is that what it's called, Ralph Lauren? And it was only 30 quid. You know, I could have bartered with him. My mom's always like, you need to barter with these people, but I, I'm too shy to barter. I'd be like, 25? And they'd be like, no. And I'd be like, okay. Also, who likes my new shoes? They're called Nike Up Tempos. I feel like a bit of a cool dude wearing them, to be honest. They do. <laughs> The boy. I did some shopping. I went to Subdued, Urban, Brandy. I'll give you a wee haul when I get home, but now we're on our way to get my belly bump here. I'll chat to you more when I'm home about like my lips and how it went. Because I'm really happy with them. They are obviously very swollen right now because I literally just got them done, but they're gonna go on. Look, I got a prep wrap. It's a hummus and chipotle. I never tried it before. I'll give you a review. Never gave you a review of that wrap, but 10 out of 10. Fucking delicious with scramet. I'm a sucker for a pre-made wrap, like a wrap from Starbucks, Sainsbury's, Pret. If I was picking a meal deal, I'm definitely picking a wrap over a sandwich. Wraps, this sign, sandwiches. I don't know if I use that sign right, but you know what I mean. Also, can we just prepare ourselves for how bad I look in this next clip? I'm genuinely, I'm transparent, I'm not pale, and my lips are so swollen, and I look so bad. But guys, it has to get worse before it gets better. Like, it does really improve, so you just stay tuned. It, it's, it all works out in the end. Hi, okay, it is the next day. I just scrubbed off all my tan, so I look terrifying but i wanted to give you a quick update of what's going on so yesterday i obviously went and got my lips i'll give you a quick update on that i went to this place called m1 m1 med beauty i will put their out on screen it is not the second day the swelling for me on the second day is always so much worse so the top lip is quite swollen at the minute and there's like a bit of bruising but overall it's fine and like by tomorrow it will have completely gone down i'm really really happy it's well it's i was going to say it's quite subtle but at the minute it's not very subtle because it's swollen i feel weird like talking about lip filler because i feel like it's so normalized now like everyone just gets lip filler like it's nothing and i don't want people to be like oh you shouldn't be promoting that but i'm just like i have a lot of insecurities and if that is one thing that i can do to just kind of give me a bit of oomph, give me a bit of confidence i fuck it i will be doing it so i got my lips done and then i went and got my belly button pierced now i was saying earlier that i really like the wee hoop that you can get so then when i went to the piercing place i was like can i get this hoop and they were like no you have to wait six months and i have like a normal stud and then change it to a hoop and i was like 
So what I'm hearing is I'm gonna get it pairs to the sun and then go home after a week and change it. It's like, will I die from infection? Potentially, but that is a risk I'm willing to take because I just want a little cute little hoop. I'll show you at the minute. I mean, can you even see? I got, oh, is my tummy hairy? I get a really hairy tummy sometimes. I have to like fucking shave my snail trail. I got the tiniest little studs ever so you can't really see it because obviously I don't really like the studs. I mean, it's all right. I still think it's quite cute. Like you can't really see it, but then when you see it, you're like, oh, she's a bit different. She's got a belly button piercing. Not that that's different in any way because I swear every girl has belly button piercing. Pain wise, the belly button wasn't sore because I was getting it like pierced through scar tissue. So I was fucking shitting myself. I was like, this is it, this is the end. Um, but it actually was not that sore at all. I don't find piercings that sore because it's over in like a second. Whereas whenever you get your lips done, it's kind of like a few incisions and it, not gonna lie, it does wreck a wee bit. But yeah, whenever I got my lips done, like the girl was amazing. She was South African and she had the nicest voice ever and she was very calming and amazing. So yeah, would definitely recommend going there if you live in London and you're looking for somewhere to get your lips done. Then I went shopping. Now this has really pretty much nothing to do with my glow up but fuck it I'll show you what I got anyway. I spent a lot of money and I don't really have much to show for it. I got this little like uh pink i got this that's not pink i got this little yellow cardigan i thought it would be really cute like with a weird summer dress like open because i don't really have any jackets to wear with a dress and then i got this vest from urban outfitters i don't like the length of it so i'm gonna cut it but isn't that a nice color it's really orange and then i went to brandy and queued for about an hour i do this every time and there's never anything in there that i actually want and i i didn't i didn't want this top but i just bought it because i was like i can't justify standing out there for 45 minutes to just not buy anything so i bought this like white vest but i guess that would be cute for summer like it's a staple but then i went to short tilbury because i wanted to get this um what is it called hollywood flawless filter it's like basically a no coverage foundation it's just like a tint because i don't really like foundation i just think it makes my skin look worse to be honest um so i got this and then I, while i was there i was like oh fuck i've run on a moisturizer so i'll just get the magic cream because i've heard really good things about it i didn't even i didn't even think to look at the price because i thought it would be like 20 and 30 maybe like 50 i went to the tail and she's like that's gonna be like 110 quid and i was like what the fuck like that is 110 quid. So just to let you know, maybe you should check the prices before you go to the till in the future. But to be fair, she gave me a free lip gloss, so I thought that was quite nice. And then the next thing I didn't actually buy, but I got sent yesterday, and I just had to show you because it's the most exciting thing ever. So it's this House of Sunny dress, and I've seen it all over TikTok. I've wanted it for so long. And when they sent it to me, I did a, sh a little bit of shit came out of my mum. Um, so it's this like maxi dress, which is so different for me. Like I'm not a maxi dress kind of gal, but like I will be a maxi dress kind of gal for this dress. Isn't that just me in a dress? And then at the back, it has like all these little circles in it so cute and so soft i'm so excited now it is time for nails now i actually have a shoot for something next week i have a fucking shoot like what that those words have never come out of my mouth in my life so exciting but anyway i've got a shoot and it's like lots of different kind of there's gonna be different colors in the shoot so i can't get anything like too mad on my nails because then it'll like clash with other colors so i don't know what to get because all i want right now is like bright spring vibration colors and i can't do that so we're gonna go on pinterest and we're gonna find something like i guess quite neutral but also quite funky funky why am i a middle-aged woman why do i use the word funky okay so i guess i'll just look up like nails nails 2021 trend spring that's exactly what i'm going for let's see i would love to do something like this with like a nude and kind of like a, a wee pattern on it but i do feel like that's their natural nail underneath and um, this is what we're working with for my natural nails like what the fuck is that like that's just tan stuck in my finger so um, i don't know if this is gonna work and then i do like those pastels and like different colors on each nail however that's not gonna go with the vibe of the shoot Ooh, and i like this Okay, right, we're I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna get like an acrylic with a very nude pink and then something cool on top Because if I have like a bright color, then it's gonna really contrast. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Oh my god guys, I'm spoiled for choice now. I've never been to this nail salon So I don't know if they're gonna like be good or not. The last time I went to get my nails done Oh god, it was like probably December like I don't get my nails done very often the girl made me bleed so much it was a little bit traumatic i'm not gonna lie like, she didn't even bring it up like she was just sitting doing my nails and like there was blood like pouring down my hand i think she was thinking if i don't bring it up it, it's not happening fair play okay right i'm gonna bring those ideas to her and see what we can do i can't wait till this glow up actually starts like making a difference because i can't be bothered to look like this anymore do you want to see my bruising I don't think anyone wanted to see that, sorry. <laughs> okay, so these are my final nails. I am obsessed with them. She did such a good job. Absolutely love her, adore her to pieces. She literally got like spot on. Like this is the inspo pick and this is my nails. 
Like she did perfectly. What a babe. Mind you, it did take a while because it's quite a fickle design. So I was there for about two and a half hours, which is always kind of painful because you can't really go on your phone without being a nuisance because she's like literally needs your hands. So I was staring at a wall for two and a half hours. It happens, but completely worth it. I did try to like take some videos while she was doing it, but I haven't done the full on like tan shaving bit of my glow up yet. So my hands are really hairy. I've talked about it before. I get really hairy hands. <laughs> And I haven't shaved them in so long. And I was like, this is the most unesthetically pleasing montage I have ever seen in my life. Like, you can't even see the fucking nails. You can just see, like, my my monstrous hand. Fuck it. This is me. This is real. This is me. Also, update on the lips. I don't really know what to say. Just look at them. <laughs> Sorry. You don't have to look at them if you don't want to, to be honest. There is a bit of bruising there. I also need to get rid of my moustache. I used to like be so good with my moustache and I would only use like hair removal cream or just bleach it. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to have to remember to get it at Sainsbury's when I next go. And then I forget every single time to get it at Sainsbury's. So I literally just shave my moustache now. Like I'm, I shave it like a boy. But it's, it's not good for you. You shouldn't do that. I, I don't think. Tomorrow is the last day of our glow up. So tonight I've been like washing my extensions and leaving them to dry. So now I need to do tan. I think I did scrub off most of it in the shower. I literally scrub until I bleed. It is not very healthy. I don't want like a really deep tan because obviously I've got this photo shoot on Tuesday. You'll find out in the next video what that's all about. And I don't think they'd appreciate me showing up with like three layers of extra dark Bondi sands. Do you know what I mean? So for my tan, I'm going to be using this Saint Tropez Self Tan Luxe Whipped Cream Mousse. I really like this tan. It's nice for just like kind of a nice summer glow. Nothing too dramatic, but you probably could build it up if you wanted to. And then for my face, I'm using the Bondi Sands Pure Sleep Mask. It is my favorite thing in the world. Why have I got deodorant in my pocket? That is random. This is the nicest deodorant ever. It's the Dove Pomegranate one. It's, oh, I love it. It's, this smells amazing, but also these are like my favorite scents. Sorry, this is weird. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but this moisturizer, it's like a gradual tan. My mum used to use it it is the nicest smelling thing you'll ever smell in your entire life. Oh, I wish they did a perfume of it. If anyone knows a perfume that is similar in scent to this, please let me know because I would take a bath in it. I'm so bloated, guys. It's not good. My tummy's in pieces. I shit, no, 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 I shit eight times yesterday. I was, I was not gonna tell you that there, but I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna be open and honest. Eight times. Is that normal? But yeah, this is the before paleness. I do blend in with the wool. Uh, and I will show you my tan in the morning when it's all developed. Good morning, everyone. We are now on the way to the hairdressers. Very, very exciting. This is my tan, by the way. I think it turned out quite nice. So for today in the hairdressers, we are doing something different. I usually go for the same thing every single time. Like half head highlights, toner, and extensions. And I was like, you know what? I haven't had my hair done in six months. Fuck it. I'm doing something different. There's this girl called Emma Ellingson. She's a YouTuber and a model. And she's just the pr probably prettiest person I've ever seen in my life. And she kind of has like e-girl hair, but it's like not quite, I don't know. I'll put it in a photo so you know what I mean. And I just absolutely love it. And I was like, I wanna I wanna try that. You know what, I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull it off. It looks good on her, but everything like would look good on her. So I'm a bit like, this could end in tears probably. I don't know, I just wanna change my appearance a bit. Like I got my belly bum pairs, now I'm getting this e-girl hair. Like I'm on a Madden. Who likes my signet ring? I'm obsessed with it. It's from a brand called Chained and Able on Instagram. I just don't know, I have signet ring. I like signet rings. This is the last time you're gonna be seeing this fried hair. Like, what is that? I think this is beyond repair. I think I'm just gonna get my whole hair like cut to like there because it is quite healthy like here and stuff, but it's just the ends are seriously concerning. Okay, I'm gonna do a carbo karaoke on the way there just to get myself really pumped up and in the mood. Like this is exciting times. Like I'm I'm getting something different on my hair. We get it almost every night. I'm just gonna drive on. Why did I drive here? I am not gonna get a fucking speed. 
Guys, I'm literally, ha my heart's burning up my chest. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. I feel sick like I could throw up. I can't find a fucking car for workspace because it's all resident permits only. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how to drive in London. What is this? Like, I genuinely think I'm going to throw up my coffee. I hate parking. Parking is the most stress inducing thing I will ever experience. I'm fine with driving. In fact, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty confident saying I'm, I'm a very competent driver. Some would probably say really, really, really good driver, but when it comes to parking, I can do it, but I get myself in such a state. Like, I, I'm, guys, I can feel a rash coming on, to be honest. Just calm down. There's no spaces on this road. You got the love I need to see me through. I did eventually not find a parking space. I parked in a permits only and didn't get a fucking ticket. I don't know if that's admitting to guilt. I didn't park in a residence permit space, Mr. Parking Man. Okay, you're getting a wee voiceover for this. This is my hair before, literally half brown. This is it developing. They brought me a wee almond milk latte, bless them. I'm gonna chewed my latte for some reason. Really weird. This is me before my extensions post dye, and this is my hair after extensions. Woo, I like hair, so my head's my head. Guys, I am obsessed with my hair. <gasps> it's so blonde here. I didn't go for quite as thick of a, like, blonde bit as she had but it's still very blonde at the front oh i love it so the final part of the transformation is picking an outfit and makeup but first i'm actually starving because obviously you have to wear a mask in the hairdressers so you can't eat anything in the hairdressers and i was there for so long and i literally i raced home because i'm I, I thought i was gonna faint not to be dramatic i actually don't think i've ever fainted in my life but i was close to it today obviously this is a hot girl summer transformation now some people would argue that like people go to the gym before hot girl summer but it's not a bit of me so instead i'm gonna eat healthy I'm gonna nourish my body instead of ordering delivery three times a day. So I've really been getting into rice paper rolls. I've seen literally everyone make them recently, so I thought I'd give them a go. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty good at it. What you're gonna need is veggies of your choice and rice paper. I got mine on Amazon. I went to the Asian supermarket and they completely ran out, so I had to order some on Amazon. And I couldn't tell how many came in the pack. I accidentally ordered 400. Bit dramatic if anyone needs any rest of rolls let me know and then your veggies that you want to use i've got carrot cucumber peppers cilantro or is it coriander who knows uh basil and fresh chili and then some lettuce as well some iceberg lettuce now this is quite raw but i am gonna put some hummus on mine i just love hummus you know me and it just tastes nice okay i haven't really seen many people put hummus on their rice paper rolls but it does taste good okay it's not that bad okay and this is like my lunch well it's actually quite a late lunch it's now half four i'm having a sweet chili sauce some people have it with like a peanut butter satay sauce but i personally am a sucker for sweet chili i love sweet chili sauce i'm gonna eat this and then we will get into the final stage of our transformation okay so for makeup i kind of want to do this like lily rose depth like very heavy pencil eyeliner kind of vibe and like it is quite dramatic but i don't know i'm just like if i'm not doing much in the skin like i think a really dark eyeliner could look really cool so i'm gonna try to do that now i'll come back maybe if i'm having any struggles i just want to tell you how i was doing my eyebrows basically i always say i use soap brow but i got sent Rayfi beauty by jess hunt she's an instagrammer and she came out with this eyebrow stuff and it basically is soap brow but in a tube so it is much more convenient if you're looking for a new brow product that's good like if you ever find so probably a bit annoying because obviously like you need to put water in it and stuff so if you're out and about it is quite hard to do i used this the other day and they did stay in place all day and i never really use anything but so probably but this is really really good okay i don't know how well this is gonna turn out to be honest i put on some black pencil eyeliner and i'm gonna use a wee angle brush just to kind of blur it out guys i look like a fucking effie why don't you speak effie why don't you speak, Kathy? Okay, so this is the, the makeup done. It is a wee bit dry. Like, I wanted to go for something a little bit different because usually I go for like fresh, dewy, little spring girl. But now it's hot girl summer. Now time for outfit. I really don't know where to begin with this, guys. I want to I wanna wear red. I feel like red is just a hot girl color. I'm going to go find some things that own that are red and we'll... we'll We'll see what happens. Okay, I literally had one red top in my cupboard and it was this one. It is from a brand that I don't like, so I'm not even gonna tell you who it is. I got it before I realized I didn't like them. But like, with the low waisted, they're like kind of cargo pants from Subdued. Um, I think it's quite cute. I got the belly button piercing out. Okay, okay, I tell a lie. I didn't go with that outfit. I got changed now. This is, okay, this is me being really annoying, but this dress just fits my 
vibe when I'm going for perfectly. The other one was a bit like, it just wasn't really what I'd wear, like the red top and white jeans. It was nice, it's just like, it's not giving me hot girl summer. It's giving me like hot girl October kind of vibe. However, this dress is giving me very hot girl summer. It's giving me bad bitch in hot girl summer. I'm a, I'm a bad girl, it's a bad girl summer. I cannot tell you where this is from right now, but let's just say the shoot tomorrow is for this and many others. Are you picking up what I'm putting on? I'm, I'm posting this on Wednesday, so to be honest, it should be up on my Instagram and TikTok, so if you wanna go have a look. Also, what the fuck? Like, it's my first shoot of my life, and God has given me chacne. I've never got spots on my chest before, and then all of a sudden, chacne. But yes, this is the final outfit. I am wearing Crocs right now, but if I was to go out, I would probably wear like big black trainers or something. What do we think, guys? I think I did bit. In the well, I don't want to hype myself up too much, but I think I do look significantly better than I did at the start. I feel like a whole brand new bitch. I'm ready for summer. Also, I'm sweating a bit. I've got a bit of a silly going on because it's a sauna in my room. This is also the final lip filler. I really, really like it. I mean, it's obviously still swollen. I got it like three days ago, but um, it's gone down a fair bit and it probably will continue to go down, but yeah. My mum didn't shine me, so that's good. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm now gonna go probably shit myself because I'm so nervous for tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog the shoot, by the way. I'm gonna vlog my full week, so you'll get to see all the behind the scenes. Exciting times, very exciting times. Okay, love you. Bye. I've got a fucking photo shoot. What do you pose? I need to practice my poses.